Hey, it's Shauna Meyerson with Yoga Athletica in Los Angeles, California, here to teach you what I think is the most accessible of the arm balances. I'll call it Ekapada Bakasana for lack of a better term, which really means any pose where I have one leg in Bakasana. I could probably just as easily call this Ekapada Bhujapidasana, but that wouldn't be as fun or as accessible because what does that mean? But we're going to do half of that pose too. So, Ekapada Bakasana slash Ekapada Bhujapidasana, let's get to it. I love this pose because it's only half of a crow. So it's way easier than a curl, let's say 50% easier. It's only half of a Bhuja Pidasana. So it's about half as hard as a Bhuja Pidasana. So all together, I think this pose in combination with the fact that there's a backward moving element and a forward moving element, makes it a very accessibly balanced pose. Let's start with the feet. So the foot positioning is, we always start in yoga pretty much with feet hip distance, right? That's pretty standard. Instead of having your feet parallel to each other, step your right foot back, okay? So how far back? Good question. We'll find out a little bit later, not because I'm holding information from you, but it's really gonna depend on your body. For me, I start about six inches back, okay? So it looks something like this. I'm hips width apart and my foot is just behind the other foot. Okay, once you've established that foot position, this is an arm balance, so let's talk about a hand position. I come down, and this is very similar to Bhujha Pidasana because it's top of a Bhujha Pidasana. We take the webby part of our left hand, very important is the left hand that correlates with the front leg. I press, the webby part into the back of my leg. And then I push and squish my shoulder under. Now, having that leverage is gonna get your shoulder further under than if you just go under yourself. So I do highly recommend the old push and squish, okay? Now, if you can't get to your shoulder, don't worry. As long as your knee is somewhere above your elbow, you'll be able to do this pose. Okay, so I squish and push my shoulder way under. So let me just show you from the side again. So you see where my shoulder is way under my knee here. And then I take my left hand and place it on the floor right next to my left foot. Okay? Now, I've been accused many times of having two left feet. If you've ever seen me dance, you would say the same. Today, I'm gonna have three left feet. Well, one left foot and, and two hands that are gonna to pretend to be feet. So with that left foot in place, I squish push left hand down and see how my left hand is to the outside of my left foot and my right hand will come down in a straight line to those two. So I have three things in alignment here and my right foot is behind, okay? The hands are approximately shoulders width apart, right? That's our standard for arm balances, right? So our standard for standing things is like feet as wide as hips because legs come out of hips. And arms are generally speaking about shoulders width because arms come out of shoulders. Once I have this, squish, push, plant, plant. My next thing is that I turn my right foot out at about a 45 degree angle. Come high on my ball of my foot and touch my shin to my right triceps. Now this is important guys, this is not my shin, okay? This is my inner thigh or my hamstrings. This is my shin, let me show you from this side. So I squish, push, plant, plant, turn, and I place my knee on my triceps. Okay, so far so good. I've got not just two feet on the ground, I've got two hands on the ground too. So it's <laughs> barely stable so far. First thing to come off the floor will be my back foot. Now here's what you need to know. Whenever you think foot off floor, most human beings, I'm not saying you, but maybe you, think must lift foot up. 
I'm here to tell you, you must not lift your foot up. <laughs> How are we going to get it off the floor? Well, once my hands are planted and my knee is up, instead of lifting up, I actually take my right foot and point it to the left. Like I'm trying to touch my elbow with my right foot. It's very different to go sideways than it is to go up. Up is gonna push you forward, sideways maintains your equilibrium. But you might say, but your foot went up, so obviously you're lifting and the answer is, no, I'm not, I'm just creating a diagonal. I've talked about this in a lot of my videos because I love it, because I love math, but I know a lot of people hate it. But a vertical line is always gonna hit the floor faster than a diagonal line. My leg stays exactly the same length. Here it's on the floor, here it's off the floor. All I did was create a diagonal line. I didn't actively lift. And this is very important if you're a beginner and struggling with balance. So once again, my left arm comes under, I plant knee on triceps, and I just point my right foot to the left. And here's the good news. You're halfway into the pose. That's the, the Bakrasana part. Now let's talk about the Bhujya Pidasana part. That left foot has to come off the floor. Quiz, how's it going to come off the floor? Is it going to go up? And it's going to go sideways. Same exact action. So I'm never lifting up. All I'm doing is taking my feet and moving them midline. Once I squish in and come onto my shin, I point, but here's what's very important. Squat down onto the ball of your left foot and look up. You should be able to balance here. Now look, my left foot is still on the floor. So right now I'm balancing on two hands and one foot. This foot is off the floor. My right foot is pointed to the left. It's very important that you look up, okay? It's not only gonna facilitate the lift, hence the up, but it's gonna decompress so that it's easier for you to lift that bottom foot, by which I mean, take it into a diagonal. So I squish, hands down, foot is out, knee on triceps, point to the side, Sit down. Now, I'm very, very low with my tush and high with my chest. At this point, you should actually be able to see me if you're watching a video. Now, what do I do? I take this left foot and I point to the right. Now, if that's hard, do this. Wiggle, 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 wiggle till you run out of room. That foot is also off the floor. And since your feet are residing in the middle, if you want to, you can sort of hook them together. Now again, there's a forward moving action here, a backward moving weight here. So this is a surprisingly well balanced pose. Let me show you two more times, one from each side so that you can get a better perspective. Left foot is forward, squish, push, place, place. Back foot in a diagonal, knee on triceps, whoops, points to the left. Sit down low, look up high, take your left foot, point to the right, and if you want to, get that hook up. Okay? Show it one more time. Left foot, squish, push, place, place. Knee on triceps, point to the left, sit low, chest high, take your left foot, point to the right, and if you want, hook it up. Fun, yeah? I really do think that this pose can be an exciting entry into the world of yoga arm balances, and I hope it works for you. Of course, I have videos on how to do full crow, and full Bhujapidasana, and full just about everything that there is on earth. So, explore my channel, and don't forget, I have a Vimeo channel 
that is full length classes. No matter what level you are, no matter how challenging you want your class, whether you want a fast class or a short class, I have about a hundred unique videos on there and all of them will build the strength, the stability, the balance and the flexibility that you need to do these one-off poses that I teach here on YouTube. Link is down below. This is Shauna Meyerson with Yoga Athletica in Los Angeles, California. Wishing you an awesome day and happy balancing.